First, the apostle reminds us of God revealing his glory to the people of Israel on Mount Sinai. And from that, we learn this. All that God does displays his glory. Everything that God has made, which is everything that exists in the whole universe, and everything that God does in the whole of creation is for the sake of displaying his greatness, which remains unchanged from all eternity past. All that God does, all of it, displays his glory. And if all we have is the law, then the glory of God can never be truly beheld. Instead, it will remain veiled. That is why we so desperately need to see this second lesson from our text. The lesson is this, is that God's glory can only be enjoyed in Christ. No one No one besides Jesus can help us see the greatness of the Lord and have it be for our good instead of our destruction. No one else can do that. God's glory can only be enjoyed in Christ. That brings us to one more lesson from our text. So far, Paul uses the picture of Exodus 34, and he uses it by as an illustration of of Moses' face being veiled to the people. That's what it's like apart from Christ, that there's a veil between us and the glory of God. There's a veil that prevents us from seeing it. In the next few verses, he pictures the people, though, Christians in the position of Moses wearing the veil. Except for those in Christ, there is no veil. And from this description, we learn this, that In Christ, believers increase in their capacity for God's glory. The more work that is done in us by the Holy Spirit, the more we can know of the Lord and call attention to His unsurpassable majesty. In Christ, believers increase in their capacity for God's glory. 